सो हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल फॉर ट्यूटोरियल्स सो गाइस टूडे आई टीच यू हाउ टू क्रिएट न्यू स्टाइल ऑफ एब्सट्रैक्ट आर्ट शेप एनिमेशन विद यूजिंग एलिमेंट थ्री डी प्लग इन ओके सी गाइज दैट्स माई फाइनल एनिमेशन इट्स रियली सिंपल एंड बेस्ट ट्यूटोरियल फॉर बिगिनर्स सो नाउ गाइज आई टीच यू हाउ आई क्रिएट दिस टाइप ऑफ एनिमेशन विद यूजिंग एलिमेंट थ्री डी प्लग इन सो गाइज नाउ स्टॉप एंड गो टू बैक गाइज आई क्रिएट न्यू कंपोजिशन सो न्यू प्रोजेक्ट चेक गाइज न्यू कंपोजिशन चेक and guys composition name take anything duration 20 second is good for me and use full hd frame this one so press okay yes and next one guys i take new solid layer so solid layer e3d so press okay yeah and go to on effect and i apply element 3d plugin so guys click on here screen setup check yeah and firstly guys i'm going to take a sphere this one and change sphere scale size see guys that's my scale size i like 50 yeah and guys see that's my position x y z so x1 i like 1 yeah that's my position okay so guys now i apply metal material so go to on presets and guys pro shader 2 and metal see guys that's my lots of metal texture so guys i apply this one like this yes and guys now i change uv so guys select this sphere and click on here that's my uv so texture mapping i use spherical spherical check and see guys that's my uv repeat i like 2 and 2 yeah that's it guys that's my sphere and next one guys this time i like this time guys here that's my cylinder yes and guys i change position same position 1 and guys i change also scale size so guys see that's my scale size change like a 50 and guys go to on up see guys that's my radius radius also change like a 0.05 enter yes and increase height Hide this one. One point one. Enter. Yes. See guys, that's my sphere. And guys, cylinder. Okay. So guys, now I change material. So guys, I create new material. Select this material. And guys, diffuse color. I like guys this time like a blue. So R. Guys, see that's my R. I like zero. G. I like one ninety. And B. Two five six two five five. Enter and press OK. And guys, apply material on cylinder. Yes. And also, guys, I apply emulsion. So go to down. And guys, see that's my use diffuse color check and intensity. I like hundred percent. Yeah. That's it. Okay. So now, guys, this time I apply one more cylinder. So duplicate. Press Control D and rotate. So rotate like this. Yes, and guys, orientation ninety. Yeah. Okay. So guys, now I like one more cylinder. So duplicate. Press Control D and rotate. Rotate like this. So guys, this time rotation orientation ninety. Guys, now I change material color. So select your default material and right click. Guys, use duplicate. So select your second material. And guys, I change color like a orange. So R, see guys, that's my R. R, I like. Guys, take two five five and hundred and B, I like zero. So press OK, yeah. And guys, apply to cylinder. Yes, that's it, guys. Right? That's my shape. Okay, so guys, now I apply this time second object. So guys, this time create new group. and that's my group so guys i change layer see guys that's my layer 1 layer 2 check that's my grouping okay so guys now go to on motion design 2 and mesh and guys i like this time this one object yes and guys little bit change size scale size like a 90 yes that's it okay so guys see that's my for shape for shape and group 1 and second shape group 2 so guys all is good so guys press okay yeah that's my shape 
and now guys i create animation so guys select your e3d layer and guys go to on render setting lighting i use aqua this one yes and guys go to on ambi occlusion check ambi occlusion and guys see that's my quality i use high and intensity i like 5 and guys see that's my radius i like 2 and guys all is good so guys fold and now guys go to on group 1 and see guys that's my first particle first particle check and count guys that's my count i like a 1000 enter and see guys that's my shape i use spherical yes see guys that's my spherical shape and see guys that's my scale size guys scale size increase like a shape like a 60 more yes and now guys i take camera so guys press c letter and camera back like this and more yeah yes see guys that's my shape okay so guys select your e3d layer and guys that's my scale size guys i also create scale size animation so scale size go to on zero frame and y scale size check and now guys go to like a five second and y scale size 1.5 enter yes and guys go to like a 10 second and one so guys i like one 15 second 1.5 and guys lastly scale size i like one yes that's it guys so guys go to back and play yeah that's my shape animation scale size animation right okay so guys next one go to on here that's my random so layer offset i like guys change like a three and guys layer distribution i like zero and see guys that's my distribution i use raw set raw check yes and see guys that's my raw count i like this time eight is good enter actually i like more nine yes and guys one more time go to back and play yes see guys that's my simple animation and now guys i also create rotation animation so guys rotation here and rotation all rotation check on zero frame and guys go to like a 20 second and rotation i like three three and three yes and guys go to back and play yeah see guys that's my simple rotation effect right and now guys i also change some effect on spare so guys all is good and guys go to on particle look see guys that's my particle look and guys go to on deformer here and guys twist and twist enable check and see guys that's my twist y and like guys increase like a 20 is good yes that's it guys and now guys rotation camera rotation change like this and little bit back more yeah that's my twist effect and guys now go to on here and guys see that's my band and band enable check guys band angle i like 100 yes good and see guys that's my band directional guys i also create band directional animation so guys this time band direction check guys holding alt key and click and see guys that's my band type guys type time and star 360 and divided by 3 enter yes and guys yeah see guys that's my band rotation effect it's looking really good right okay so guys now all is good and lastly guys go to a noise and noise enable check and intensity i like 100 is good 100 yes for more lighting and guys again go to on preview yes see guys that's my first shape is finished it's looking really good science friction effect and next one guys i create second group animation second group effect 
so guys go to on group 2 and particle see guys that's my same count so spherical check and count are like 100 simple and scale size increase like a 30 yes good and now guys i also create rotation animation so rotation animation check and guys go to on last and guys rotation effect like a 4 4 and 4 lastly and guys go to back and preview yes see guys that's my final work right and guys i also create glow effect on particles yes guys my animation is finished it's looking really good and guys i change glow effect so guys select your e3d layer and i apply glow so we are guys duplicate so press ctrl d and rename like a e3d glow enter yes so guys stop so guys go to an effect and preset and type glow select guys select glow and apply on e3d2 so drag and drop yes and guys go to on here glow intensity i like 100 and radius 100 and intensity i like 2 yes actually 2 yeah and now guys duplicate this glow press ctrl d so guys radius i like 300 and intensity i like 1 yeah much better okay so guys next one go to on here output that's my e3d output and guys see that's my show to change emulation yes and guys i change mode so use screen yeah that's it guys okay so guys now this time i apply exposure select exposure and drag and drop and exposure amount i like one yes much better and lastly guys i apply this time curve tool curve select and guys i change curve like this and guys up yeah see guys that's my final work and guys preview check yes really good okay so guys my animation is finished now i change background so guys stop and guys go to on here and i create new solid layer like a bg and press ok so guys go to on effect and preset and type ramp effect select gradient ramp apply to bg and now guys go to on start color start check guys liner to change radius so guys start color i like dark red and press ok and guys go to on end color yes that's it guys see guys that's my simple background and go to down yeah okay so guys next one this time i apply light simple point light so guys right click and guys see that's my light and light check and color guys i like blue and intensity 2000 is good see guys that's my simple light setting so press ok yes that's my lighting right okay see guys that's my lighting without light it's looking really good okay so guys lastly i apply this time optical flare light so go to one solid layer and guys solid layer rename like a light so guys effect and i apply this time optical flare yeah and option check and guys preset check see guys that's my effect so guys select and press ok yeah and guys go to on mid like this and light to change mode and go to on last like this yes that's it guys see guys that's my really good lighting and guys this time i take new solid there one more time lighting solid like a light Two. yes and guys same effect and presets guys same effect and use optical flare so guys press option 
so so go to on presets guys go to on here that's my different style of light so guys press ok i like this one and go to on here yes and change mode use add yes that's it guys okay so guys my final work is finished and lastly guys select camera and press p and guys go to on like a 20 second and guys position little bit closer like this yeah and guys position check and go to on zero frame and guys closer yeah and more yes see guys that's my simple see guys that's my position and guys that's my final work so guys preview check yeah see guys that's my final work it's looking really good okay so guys my work is finished so if you like my video please share and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you